Uh, good day, old chap. Uh, I was wondering if I might, uh, have a bit of a, uh, badger. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. No, I don't believe that's it. Bloody HQ, eh? Always mixing this up. Uh, uh, g give me a sec, will ya? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. No, sorry. Do try again, though. The taste of beef is somewhat brief. Fool. A majesty only uses true rhymes. Try again. The sable's fur may nullify prayers, but a vibrating marsupial is often the swiftest remedy. That's very odd. And somewhat disturbing. The lone heron is ripe for the plucking. Excellent, if a tad unenthusiastic. Six out of ten. What? Now you're after a government minister who's been trading secrets with the Soviets. If we don't take him out, their navy might catch up to ours within 20 years or so. Wow, sounds terrible. So I'm looking for a minister. Man, that's something I don't say every day. Our informant will call the phone box near the Parliament House Bridge in one minute. On your horse, old chap! Bloody plebs! Ripe for the plucking. Right, that sucks. Excellent. The intended target has left Parliament House and is heading for the Soviet Embassy. Eliminate only one arrival at the Embassy. I repeat, eliminate the target only once it has reached the Soviet Embassy. Remember, this never Fashion design, that's a scene worth watching. Those Soviets are so groovy and intense, I'll tell them my secrets in a heartbeat. Soviets are our mortal enemies, but we give them a rutting embassy that's bigger than the Prime Minister's paycheck. I never understand politics. People are bound to know this if a cabinet just disappears, even if it is in the Soviet embassy. Oh, who am I kidding me on what to say? Someone here. 